Hello lovelies, this is a show and tell of the April Lace Wigs Chinese Deep Wave Unit. I purchased with my own coins with a discount code. The unit came with wig caps, uh, information sheet showing how to take care of the unit, and it was, I received it in a plastic bag in the box. Now, when I opened this unit up, I was expecting uh, color number two, with light brown lace. What I received is a one with dark brown lace. As you can see by my face, I was highly upset about that. This is a silk top unit. It has a comb on each ear tab, also four combs in the back with an adjustable strap. Now for the combs, for their construction, the combs were sewed on very loosely not um, securely at all so you may have to when you receive the unit to go back over those stitches. The unit is 120% density which is a very natural density but if you're looking for more density you would definitely have to maybe go up to about maybe 130 to 150 density. Now the hair when I put it on it was very light like almost scary like the cap didn't have any hair on it but it was very nice as in how soft it was, how light it was, it wasn't heavy at all. So I really like that about the unit. I prefer lighter densities on curly units because when you fluff out curly or wavy units, they puff up. So on straight units, I would increase the density because the hair can look thin um, without that heavier density due to it's not having curls and waves helping to fluff the hair, making it look fuller. The hairline on this unit is pretty good. It has a lot of dips and curves on the side. The front portion of the hairline, um, it's sort of straight and blunt, but it does have a curve in it. Um, I never blend my units in front of my hairline. It's always behind my hairline, so I won't have a problem with blending this unit out. Um, it's just for a person who may sit this on their hairline, you may have to plug it slightly to give it a more, to thin out that hairline to make it look a little slightly more natural. For the silk top, it is 4x4. Um, I really like its construction. The only thing is it's dark brown. Also, there's a line of demarcation between the lace and the silk top. I always cut that portion of the lace off on the hairline, but there are also strands tied onto the silk top which I had to pluck more of but you have to be very careful in that step because if you pluck too much on the hairline it leaves like a gap portion so then you will have to cut into the silk top or use a black eye pencil in order to fill that area in. Now if you're not satisfied with the unit sent out to you send it back immediately um, either get an exchange or refund um, only reason why I did not send this unit back because I had plans later that week, I had things to do, so I didn't have time to send the unit back. So making sure you send out the correct unit the first time is important. Um, it's great having good customer service, but people when they order these units is for special occasions, reunions, birthdays, so they don't have time for incorrect orders. Now here's the unit in natural lighting. Um, I really wanted you to see the color um, of the hair and also the silk top. Um, it's a very rich, dark color, um, very soft. The hair is fluffed out, um, still unstyled. I haven't added any water or anything to it. It's just the hair naturally fluffed out. Now for the unit being dark brown on silk top, it's still workable, but I would not recommend this particular color silk top due to the fact maybe over time it can get even darker um, just due to wear and tear. Now the hair on this unit is gorgeous. It's soft, it's silky, the deep wave pattern is amazing, very natural looking, very full. This hair also has lots of body. 
For their glueless cap, I really feel you can put this in a high ponytail, a low ponytail if you wanted to. Um, what I would recommend to April Lake Wigs is to maybe putting um, a little, installing a little bit more hair on that back hairline in order to make it look a little bit fuller so you don't see the cap as much. Um, what I'll be doing, I'll be cutting some baby hairs back there and then curling those baby hairs with a half inch curling iron to make it look more natural. Now this is the hair completely fluffed out and it is beautiful. Now we'll be curling those baby hairs in the back using these curl irons I got from Sally's. Also using Dark and Lovely, they resist color in Chestnut Blonde. Now we'll update you on this hair and I'll show you a video where I fully install the unit. I hope this video helped. Don't forget, comment, rate, and subscribe. Till next time, be lovely and bye!